We are live. Yeah, I gotta figure out what the hell I'm unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? And welcome to another episode of the Hot Toys Lounge. It is me, your one six scale supreme leader, your <laughs> sole proprietor of this establishment. It is me. Usually I come out and I say other shit, which is pretty pretty funny, but you know. Uh, but shit. why is this why is my thing good, being everybody? Oh, there oh. We go. All right. The freaking microphone is being stupid for a second. Unbelievable. Someone said how to stay up late since JP's on the show. Let's go. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, man. So all right, guys. So obviously you guys can see joining me is my very special guest in the lounge. My actual first guest ever in the lounge so you That's should you, this is an this is an honor for me so guys my man jp josh pence is in good, the house what's up brother how's it going chat man how are you doing tonight we've been we've been we've been talking about this for weeks it's finally here this it was is awesome it was literally like i think i i finally caught a live or some shit like that and then you're yeah. like Let's let's get you on here, and I'm like, yeah, let's, let's do it. it. Let's I mean, you're you're you're, you're you're going hard on hot toys. I'm going hard on hot toys. The whole we're we're lighting the hot toy community on fire right now with everything that me and you are picking up. Dude, between me, you, and Geek, I mean, all <laughs> humbleness aside, I feel like we're we're really getting in the biggest hauls, but we're playing a lot of catch up too. Oh, I'm totally listen. I am so behind the eight ball, dude. Listen, if you want to hear like like I, I forgot who I was talking to. I'm a person of, of routine. I wake up in the morning, I go to the bathroom. While I'm in the bathroom, I'm scrolling through Macari to see what, <laughs> what's, what's being listed. I'm checking eBay. I'm checking the six scale Facebook groups. You know, I'm checking to see everything that's going on right now because I don't want to miss out on a, on a good price for something. In Tangoon, Jared, that's my homie. Yeah. I, I literally told him, I'm like, dude, if you see any, any Marvel hot toy, that's a decent price. Just tag me. I don't care what time it is. Screenshot it to me. Text it to me. Something. I need to know these deals. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, it's just like I'm fiending, man. It's just like every like every group. Like, I don't even go. So if you're on the Facebook app, there's the home button. Then there's your groups like tab. Yeah. Where you can scroll through, bro. I just go straight to the groups and just scroll through. That's what's it. In the groups because it's all six. It's all Cisco that's stuff it, that I'm that's in. It. That's <laughs> so it. it's, <laughs> my 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 man Eddie Ortega. Thank you for the five spot, bro. Again, guys. You do not have to donate. I do not ask that you donate, but if you do give, thank you very much. It's much appreciated. I appreciate it too. So let's say what's going on to everybody in the chat. So right now we've got about 63 people watching and 23, 28 thumbs up. People, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. So let's see what we got going on in chat. We got my man Ryder. We got Geoforce Racing. We got the Troll Patrol. Hot freaking toys, baby. We got my man Tony in there. Hello from Great Britain. Or Bright, yeah, Great Britain, yeah. We got my man Ronaldo. Those kids act dumb. What's happening? The greatest name on YouTube alive. King Dingaling. What is up, my man? We got Ronaldo. We got my man Insane Goon, Jared. We got the Troll Patrol doing the goon with the dolphins. Everybody likes the dolphin call. <laughs> so... This is how we get down, bro. Josh oh, is like, dude, yeah. this guy is nuts. Nah, bro, I'm with it. I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm just plugging it on all my socials yeah. right now, so don't mind me. <laughs> we got my man Elijah P. We got Brett the Movie Guy. We got DJ Booth Pro Audio. We got my man the Fig Bro. We got Mateo. We got Roberto. We got Alex. We got Roberto hitting us with the turtle dick. Unfortunately, Mike is not in the chat to enjoy the turtle <laughs> dick right now, but he will be soon. I'm, pretty, I'm sure he will. We got Teacher Steve. Is that is that um? It's, uh, Brian Steve. That's Steve. Yeah. Steve. Yep. Uh, seductive, seductive, seductive Steve. Steve. Yep. Oh, uh, dude, I am so honored that Seductive Steve is in our chat right now. Yeah. Dude, Tiger, to the Tiger King thing he did was the was quarantine Steve. That was the greatest yep. thing ever. I love that to this day. Every, everything that Steve does is amazing. Great. <laughs> we we got we got my man graphics guy. What up, Jeff? We we got uh, Vic. We got Dress Pops. We got King Benny. We got my man Chad. Hot Toys is ninety. We got PD Dubs. We got Lewis, we got Trevor, we got, uh, wow, the chat's blowing up. We got Christian, we got my man Michael, we got Primetime Reviews, we got Kevin, we got Enrique, what's going on? We got Geoforce still in there, Eddie, and everybody in there is just blowing up. I can't keep up with the chat. Mark Rhodes, what's going on? My man Craig, half-assed reviews. If you're not doing it half-assed, you're not doing it right. Mama said pop you out. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, hey. 
I like okay. that. We got my man David Big Dog. What up? We got Jedi Chisel. My man George is in the chat. The marvelous knight himself. And uh, yeah, I think we're we're all caught up. So what did you uh, what did you um, you know bring bring tonight, man? Um, so I'll let the I'll let the guests do I'll let the guests go first tonight. Um, so I got Iron Spider in yesterday. I saw that. So I, I'm I'm glad I'm glad you got that because mm -hmm. I wanted to talk to you about that. Okay. So that's good. so I bought it, I had it, and mm -hmm. I sold it. Okay. Because I did up. Oh, Freaking, uh, freaking Jared. Jared. $20, $20. Turn up, Legends. He's so stupid. Freaking Jared. Jared kills me, bro. Yeah, try playing but, Call of Duty with him. <laughs> <laughs> try playing Call of Duty with him. But, uh, yeah, so I, I bought it, and then I tried pose, posing it, and mm. that suit is, like, not pliable at all. You want to know a fun fact? And, and, and it's a museum, and I had to keep it in a museum pose, and I did not like that at all. Are we, are we allowed to curse on here? Oh, dude, you're on my channel. You have full carbon. I you do whatever you want. I'm going to pose the fuck out of this. You know why? Because I got this for one hundred dollars and two SH figure arts. What? So if I'm paying a hundred, pretty and those figure arts, mind you, I probably paid four dollars a piece for it from Brian's sale that I bought from. Yeah. So virtually, I paid a hundred dollars for this. I am not leaving this museum. I, I wanted to find a steal. So I could find a sick ass pose. I don't care if anything rips, to be honest. Uh, with dude, you. I, I listen. I I am terrified. I am terrified. Mm -hmm. I do not. I do not push the up. Oh, there he is, folks. The OGest of geeks is joining us. What's up, guys? I'm a silent watcher today, driving home from Atlanta. Hey, be safe, geek. Be safe. Yeah, be safe, man. Be, just pay attention to the road, <laughs> please. <laughs> Those kids that act dumb. Is that the first time Josh cursed? No, I just have that. <laughs> I curse on yeah. my own. Yeah, we have car okay. yeah, listen i i cut car blanche on my channel bro you do whatever the hell you want i don't care so, um, but yeah dude like i had it and i was so like the portrait the the tom holland portrait on it was like really really cool yeah. and i like the arms and everything it and i like the metallic finish on the suit but you couldn't pose yeah. pose it you had to keep it in a museum pose yeah so that so the main reason why i wanted this is because I, I obviously they're not going to make another one of these because this was pretty much in game in Infinity War suit. Yeah, I, I wanted it for my MCU display, and that's why I tried so hard to find a deal on it because I want to pay retail for this just because of that fact. But yeah, once again, if it's a hundred dollars, if I rip it or something, I'll give it to Parker. He can have fun with it. Like I'm not, <laughs> I'm literally not that worried about it for getting it for a hundred dollars because. I, why I agree. I agree with what Michael's saying in the chat right now. It should have been diecast. Ooh, that would have been crazy. You know what? They reissue wow. stuff all the they reissue stuff all the time. You, you never you never know. I mean, they just reissued the Mark the Mark Five, and everybody all the resellers are losing their uh, losing yeah. their shit right now. So hey, shout out to Big Dove. He sold his at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, so I have Iron Spider. I also have uh, shout out to Jared for this shitty trade. <laughs> shitty trade. <laughs> I got the Mark Forty Seven. Ooh, I, yeah, I got him. He's he's right he's right there, right behind me. Yeah, Jared Jared kind of uh, conned me with that one. So. How did he con you? Uh, he first of all, <laughs> Jared's going to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, Listen, you're in a safe space, so it's all it's all good. He uh, he hit me up, or no, he didn't hit me up. He was talking about it. He's like, hey, I think I'm thinking about getting rid of my Iron Man's because he had the Mark Seven. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, he's like, they're they're both sealed. I think he said like I opened the Mark 47 just to look at it. Like he, he's like, I didn't do anything with it. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll trade you that sideshow Cad Bane and like 120 bucks or whatever it was. Because yeah. that sideshow Cad Bane, it can it can pull like three, three fifty, like easily. So I was trying to be cordial. <laughs> <laughs> so he and then that that night we were watching your stream. Um and he posted a picture on Instagram, and tags me. He's like watching what's popping and mark 47 is just chilling there with the tony head on with the glasses on everything i'm like jared what the fuck are you doing bro i was like we just secured a trade and you're out here playing with the damn thing now and <laughs> so then I'm it like, was sealed it was sealed i swear <laughs> i'm like all right jared i was like okay he's like well i was just checking it i'm like what do you mean checking it you pop the head sculpt out <laughs> you put the tony head on you put the glasses on <laughs> like what do you mean you checked it Anyways, but no, I'm just I'm just messing with them. And then yeah. I got the Mark 50 for a steal as well. I got this for 270 shipped. That's a steal. 
I mean, that's a steal. I know a lot of people aren't like the biggest fan of it, but considering I, I love it, I have it right. I had that. That is the. I think that's like the second or third hot toy I bought, and I actually um, bought that when I went to um, New York Comic Con back in 2019. Um, you ever heard of um, Pop Fun to Play? No, Sean. Uh, he's another. He's another YouTuber, and I. He actually has a store in Brooklyn, and I went to his store in Brooklyn and actually bought it. Uh, bought it from him, so that was like probably I think like the second or third hot toy I bought. So I you gotta, you're gonna get the accessory kit for that one. That, that's what was I to say. I personally yeah. want the accessory kit if I can find it for once again a steal. Um, yeah. Then I, then I'll get it. It's bro. I tell you, this is all Brian's fault, man. Because going <laughs> through. And I, I've said this plenty of times, so it's just like beating a dead horse. But just imagine not collecting Marvel. And I even I've said it many times. I'm not going to go back to Marvel. It's too much. I go to Big Dub's house and literally get to touch almost every single Marvel hot toy ever made. And I, I and I'm taking it off the shelf. I'm like kind of posing with it, like looking at it, put it in the box. I'm like, damn, this comes with a lot. This is pretty cool. Hot toy number fifty. Like, all right, Brian. Like, what can we do? I need some of these. And then I just start like setting some to the side. He's like, we'll work it out. That's fine. I'm like, all right, here we go. So, and, and it's funny that you mentioned that because I, um, you know, what is it? It's, it sucks because like I had a shit, I was stocking, stockpiling money for Brian's, for Brian's sale. And, you know, and then all of a sudden I got hit out of nowhere. A buddy of mine was like, yo, he's like, I got those three, I got these three statues. I'll give you an epic, an epic deal on. So mm. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, that's, that, that's fine. And then, yeah, and then, like, all of a sudden, Brian's like, all right, guys, we're ready to do the sale. And I'm like, crap. Yeah. You know? I mean, like, I'm glad I was able to get what I what I got from him. Oh, because dude, I really want He I started really naming those off. pieces. Like, Seth and, Seth and Geek are getting all this. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I see you. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to go. I wanted to go more, dude. I wanted to buy. I so wanted to buy more. But, like, I'm sitting yeah. there in my living room watching you guys on Facebook do the stream. And I have my the my wife, the uh, the thing sitting next to me. And she's like, if you buy one more thing, she's like, I'm going to slit your goddamn throat. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm uh, like, she's like, she's like, because she hears, I have the volume up. So I hear, she's like, oh, Seth claims Iron Man, you know, Seth. And she's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, that, that first of all, that week, and I don't even know how much he's told about it, which nothing's really a secret. So it doesn't matter. But yeah. so when I was in Myrtle, when Karina and I were in Myrtle Beach with him, um, like three weeks before that sale, we talked about it. We were like, we were all walking on the beach or something some night. And I was like, yo, like, remember, cause he, he was kind of talking about like, I kind of want to like pivot away from collecting all this stuff. Yeah. Like, if you ever want to, man, let's like, I'll, I'll help you sell it. Like, that's a thing. He's like, why don't we just do it like now? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, he opened up his calendar. He's like, are you free this week? I'm like, I mean, I'm unemployed. So yeah, of course I'm free. Yeah. He books the ticket. He's like, all right, let's just go. And I'm just like, I look at Korean. I'm like, are you cool if I leave? And I left Monday to Sunday, like a, a That's whole entire crazy. Week. And literally that Monday night, I, I know everyone's watching the video, but yeah. we got working. And that was probably the craziest week of my life, man. Going oh, like you, zero sleep and just not yeah. stop packing stuff, man. It no, was, you guys, yeah, you guys did work. You guys did work, man, between between yeah. you and Brian and um and and Jared and and Steve and David and everybody yeah. that pit that pitched in, man. I mean, you got you guys did work, man. And that was that was a great thing that he did and you guys did for the uh, for the collecting community. And you know, for him to give people the prices that he gave and the deals that he gave, I mean, that was soup beyond super super generous. Yeah, so was, I mean, it was crazy, man. Like, because David and I, we were mainly the ones like looking at prices, and. We would like to say like, "Hey, this is going for three hundred dollars on eBay." He'd be like, uh, "Okay, two fifty. Yeah, like, wow. Okay, like, and if you bought three things, you could you could get a six hundred dollar hot toy for four hundred bucks. Yeah, Why just bundle with him. Like, he just did not care. And like Steve said it earlier in the chat, he's like, "I believe that sale pivoted a lot of collectors." And I'm like, "Absolutely. Like, I I agree with that, man. Because I mean, for me, just just me, for instance." <laughs> Now I'm into Marvel because of that. I'm sure a shit ton of people are into Mezcos and uh, maybe Hot Toys. Like a lot of people yeah. bought the first Hot Toy that night, man. Like it was awesome. Like exactly yeah. like that it was for the community, and I'm I'm proud that it was my Facebook group. You know, obviously not gloating, but I'm I'm glad that I was able to provide a platform for a safe sale on both parties. 
No, you guys did a, you, again, man, you guys did a, fan, a fantastic job, uh, you know, monitoring that and handling that and, and, and all that stuff. And that was, that was just crazy. That was just crazy, man. I can only imagine, you know, seeing uh, Brian's posts on Instagram and seeing you posting stuff, you know, and, Dave, and David too. I mean, you know, you guys just sitting there with mounds of stuff, packing stuff up. I mean, I even messaged Brian. I'm like, dude, I'm like, if you want me to drive up and come help you guys, I'm like, I will come up and come help you guys, yeah. you know? You yeah. know, and it's like, it's like, God, man, it was like, that was just chaos, dude. Yeah, it, it was fun, though, man. Like, I, I would do that week 16 times over if I had to. It was such a, a fun experience. But but it's funny, though, because he says he gets out of collecting, and next thing you know, this dude is going, like, so hard on sneakers right now. <laughs> yeah, he just <laughs> did what he's collecting. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, listen, I, I can't, um, I can't fault him. I mean, the dude just went through a massive lifestyle change, which is absolutely amazing. And I, I totally commend him for that. Oh, you know, I, I, I mean, that's great. And, you know, and I'm sure he's excited that, you know, he's able to, um, you know, go get clothes, new clothes and get sneakers and things like that. That, that's just awesome, dude. I mean, like, honestly, like I'm a big dude, I'm a big dude, man. I, I'm, you know. I got a lot of cushion for the pushing, you know, you, you, you know, but, and, and I look at him and I'm like, you know what, maybe I can, maybe I can do that and, and have a lifestyle change, you know, now I wouldn't go ahead and just sell, sell my collection and all that stuff. I would never do that. I would sell my children before I sell my collection. So <laughs> dude, he never thought he was going to sell like all the, the damn SH figure arts hands and heads and one Ziploc baggie for like 93 figures. He was just like, I mean, I was never going to swap the hands on Goku. So I threw him in a bag yeah. and I threw the box away. I'm like, I mean, it's a valid point if you never thought you were going to sell. Yeah. But it's just that dude, I'm still going through figure arts. I still have some. <laughs> I see that. I dude, I see you posted in the group in, in your group. You're like, oh, anybody true. what it's like, it's like, I feel like you're like when I'm reading your post, like this is how I'm picturing you actually like reading it. Hey guys, I got some more fig arts left. Does anybody want any? Yeah, just please, take buy. them for just just take them from me, please. I don't want to stare at them anymore. <laughs> just buy. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Name a price. And it's yours. Got it. Steve, St Steve is saying I think Seth would lust after those customs I got from Dub. So let me tell you something, Steve. I actually shot well, Brian. Brian shot me a message asking me, you know, to give us first dibs at at stuff, and I messaged him like a whole list of everything that I wanted, and he met, wrote me back like a couple days later. He's like. Sorry, man. He's like Steve claimed the uh, most of those, and I'm like, damn you, Steve. <laughs> yep, that's but, yeah. Steve so got a hell of all. Yes, yeah, yeah, Steve. Well, Steve got all the all the Avengers from the first movie, which is what I was trying to. So I have I have the Mark Seven, I have the Captain America, and I have the Hulk. So I needed the Thor, Black Widow, um, Hawkeye, um, Nick Fury, and um, what is it? Uh, uh, Coulson and um, yeah. The other, the other chick, I forgot her name. Maria Hill. Yeah, no. Maria Hill. Yeah, Maria Hill. I need, I needed, the, I needed those, and yeah, freaking, damn you, Steve. <laughs> um, oh my god, I was just about to say something. I said, I, know, I don't know what I was gonna say. I know you're about to tell me to open something. But yeah. So what? Yeah. So what? You? What, what are you? What are you? What are you gonna open? What are you gonna? Open? I, don't know. I mean, I feel like, the, I feel like I got boring ones to open because Iron Man they kind of just stand there. Nah, man. Go ahead. Do your thing, dude. Oh, I know what I was gonna ask. What do you think of the Mark Seven? I ha I love it. I love it. I th that's my that's my favorite that's my favorite Iron Man suit out of out of all the suits. So, you know, I I, I love it. I have him posed. I have him posed with just the mask off and holding it holding the mask in his in his hand. That comes with like the battle damage everything. Oh yeah, it comes with all the swap out parts. It actually even comes with the um when he jumps out the window and mm -hmm. the piece shoots out to catch him. It comes with that piece too. So yeah. it's it's pretty it's pretty dope what you could do with that. The Mark Seven comes with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, because it a lot of people are selling it for like four hundred ships, and I'm like, I need to jump on it before it sells out, and then it goes up. Which because is pretty, which is which is pretty good because I think I paid almost five for it. It's like I I put it in my cart since it's in stock, and I went through everything. It's like four ninety or four eighty three. Yeah, like with shipping from sideshow. So if I can save close to a hundred bucks, yeah, just do it. I should just get it. Um. Okay, I want to. I need, oh, a, I, need a play, I need I need I need I need to place my pre order with uh with comic with uh, comic concepts so I can get the uh, the Mark Five. Are you um, uh, are you sticking with sideshow pre orders? Or are you going through other? No, I go through. Uh, if anything, like that, right? so I'm not I'm not big into pre ordering, but mm -hmm. when it's a hot toy that I know that's going to go fast, mm 
I that's that's when I do it. So and when I do pre order, I pre order through um Comic Concepts because they're actually a few dollars cheaper than Sideshow, believe it or not. Okay. They're like ten they're like ten to fifteen dollars cheaper than nice. than than Sideshow. And he gets them the minute Sideshow starts releasing them, that's when he gets that's when he gets them because he's out in California too. Oh so nice. he's right he's he's right there, so nice. Yeah, I'm I'm on the fence with the sideshow stuff, man. Like I I want to pre-order just because my weird like spending brain, I like to be able to make payments instead yeah. of lump sum. But at the same time, it I mean, it kind of doesn't make sense to give them all that money ahead of time when I could just be an adult and say, yeah. <laughs> so <it's laughs> like, I mean, whatever. See, I'm I'm fortunate. I don't I don't know about I don't know about you you, you when I mean I've watched a, I've watched a bunch of your uh, a bunch of your hunts. Mm -hmm. um, um, I don't know about the stores that 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 you go to, but I go to Tate I go to Tate's Tate, down here yeah. by me, and when they and they they have a you know they they're a um, a sideshow uh, reseller, so they get they get everything in directly from sideshow. And the great thing is is that whatever sideshow sells it for. That's they're selling it for right? which yeah. yeah which which is great because then i don't have to worry about paying shipping i just go in i buy it i pay the tax and and i'm and yeah. i'm done you know because i um well toy department i'm uh, assuming people if people watch my videos they're familiar with that yeah. place they just got their sideshow license like six months ago okay um, so i have the heavy mando pre-ordered through them nice um i'm i'm thinking of like any like big big hot toys to get it through them for sure because it saves the stupid yeah. shipping and tax at some point yeah so, yeah but that's uh yeah we got a few places down here that like that that also have hot toys but dude they over they up charge it so much that it's like i don't even bother going into those places even like retail yeah so they're so like um the mark 40 the mark the the mark 47 that you have um, mm -hmm. uh, what is it? I think on Sideshow's website, what is it like three? Was it three yeah, three seventy four. So that's what Tate's had it for. I went into another store mm -hmm. um, that has it that had it locally. They were selling it, reselling it for five hundred dollars. I mean, I almost think that that's against their TOS. It's, so I don't think I don't think it is. I don't think it is because this this play. I'm not going to mention the place because right. I don't want to give them any kind of publicity. But they. Um, you know they they do that with all their hot with all their hot toys you know they they don't base it off of what sideshow selling it for they only base it off of what it what the resale value is of going on ebay yeah. so which is, which, not, which is which is, which is they stupid. Don't have a, a distributor license then. no they do and they're doing that yeah because toy department told me that they are not allowed the only way that they can do that is if someone so like say i brought this mark 47 in and i sold it to them if it was not directly from Sideshow, they can list it for what they want. But yeah. if they have an invoice for this, they have to put it up at the retail. That's crazy. That's yeah. I, won't, I won't. I, I won't. Uh, I won't go. I won't go there. I just. It's. I it's, play, it's, it's. It's frustrating because they do. They do have a lot of. So a lot of the stuff they have at that place is like really old. So it's like it's great because if you're looking for something old, that's the place to go. But the problem is, is that they're like charging like retarded money for it. Right. So that's a big bummer. I just saw George's comment. He says, funny thing is I started watching Josh because I thought I knew him. When I finally saw the guy that I thought he was, I realized it wasn't the same guy. <laughs> yeah, George, yeah George, is a, George is a trip, man. <laughs> That's funny. Freaking George. George George kills me, man. That is funny. Almost two people we, on here. We, we got our man Foxy for real. What's up, Foxy? Yeah, damn. We almost got 200 people watching crap. That's a good one. Man. I'm not going not gonna to say it, Chad. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, this, this 47 is good oh so i not i gotta i gotta ask you because um just because it's me so okay. when that whole so i know you um what is it the thing with uh matt matt cardona and the major oh, yeah. figure wrestling podcast <laughs> dude i'm a huge wrestling wrestling fan and mm -hmm. i actually and, and matt matt actually lives down here in orlando yeah and i actually met i actually met him at uh at disney at disney one time we were at galaxy's edge and we and we met him and my guy was like totally like geeking out yeah you know but um was was how was that whole that whole exchange was he like super cool or yeah so i'll just i'll break it down from the top because yeah. you're the first person to really ask me about it since it's happened so yeah i all of a sudden my text messages 
Instagram, everything's blowing up. I'm like, this is this is weird. Jared actually called me, I think. He's like, yo, check your messages. Um, some wrestling dude stole your, your slogan. I'm like, okay. So then my other buddy, Dave, uh, he calls me and he's like, yo, uh, Zach Ryder stole your shit, man. Uh, look, look on Twitter, look on this. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. So I like, I go to all my notifications and someone in, in my group, like screenshot the, the Twitter thing. So I, of course, being an asshole, I go to my, um, my Teespring page and I screenshot it and I retweet their shirt. And I say, yo, Matt, I'll wear yours if you wear mine. Yeah. <laughs> and it just starts getting blown up. And then I think the, the, my, the major wrestling podcast, Twitter uh, DMs me and they're like, Hey, um, we messaged you on Instagram. Please read it. So Matt follows me on Instagram. Yeah. Messages me. He's talking, he's super cool about it. And yeah. he's like, Hey, some of your people have told me that you like have a slogan or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, like I've like had it for four years or whatever, like no big deal, whatever. And he's like, if you want to, we can take it down. Um, if not, it, you know, it is what it is, whatever. And I, all I said was, you guys can keep it up. Like, I don't really care. Like, I don't have any legal means to pursue this if I wanted yeah. to. Yeah. I was like, if you could just give me a shout out, just keep it up, whatever. And he's like, okay. And then they end up, as I know you probably saw, yeah, they, saw like, the whole they post, they're like, hey, um, he was cool. Uh, we're going to take it down out of respect for him. And then they shouted me out or whatever. And I yeah. messaged him. I'm like, hey, man, I was like, this, like, to me, this doesn't feel right. Like, I kind of feel like an ass yeah. about this because, you know, I, I told you guys to keep it up. Like, do you or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, no, he's like, it's cool. Like, this community, we don't need to be like that to each other. So I was like, I mean, I respect it or whatever, but. So have you spoke? Have you spoke? Had any interaction with them since, or no? No, I mean, I I've, I've replied to a couple of his stories on Instagram or like comedy, and he he replied yeah. back and everything. It's nothing crazy, but I uh, yeah, that was a wild, wild Sunday. It was a Sunday out of all day. Yeah, and it's just no, like, I, I followed the whole I followed the whole thing. I was like, holy crap! And I'm like, you know, I'm like, dude, I'm like, that's awesome that you know that they they shouted you out and everything, yeah. and they reached out to you. So that was that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, I was um, I was very surprised to say the least because they could easily have been like all right dude like we'll keep it up that's cool and yeah. no one would have ever known but you know shout out to them it was it yeah. was cool to to be like that because one funny story years ago cincy and i we went to a uh, a local wrestling thing uh yeah. event, and zach Ryder was there and i i took a picture of him because he was like up on the ropes like looking like a g i took a picture of him i tagged him <laughs> this motherfucker took my picture posted it on his instagram no credit nothing and it was oh like, my god my, and i was just like oh my god i was like come on man <laughs> but he you know he's he's another per he's another person that i haven't had the chance to talk to that seems pretty cool that i want to i want to get a chance to talk to is uh since oh dude since he's he's awesome he's yeah. he would love to probably do something like this man because we uh we used to do this the sweet spot streams where it's yeah. like me toy bills uh not another retro channel kyle and since and we just do this for hours yeah. It's just funny how like we can all like how we can all do like the um what is it like the uh, the six degree the six degrees of thing where we all like reach back we can all like we're all connected in like some way you know uh, uh, shape or form uh, what is this uh, oh. David uh, David Santino's for your new couch <laughs> thank you good sir I will take that and it will definitely go to the um, adopt the Jew foundation as I like to call it so. You too. Um, I feel like you remember like the old uh, commercials with like uh, Sally Struthers. Mm -hmm. If you just give five cents a day, <laughs> you too can help this man get off his couch. What's the uh, <laughs> the dog commercials kill me too? The oh Sarah my god! Yeah. in the arms <laughs> of the angels. Yeah. yeah, that shit gets me every time, bro. <laughs> dude, it's just especially during the holidays, man. Ooh, they like to run those ads. Oh, my, oh pff, dude, and it's a te it's a tearjerker too. Yeah, man, this time like I, I was like I was sitting on the couch. I was sitting on the couch the other night, and they had um, what is it? The uh, Endgame on TV finally. Yeah, and I'm and I'm watching it, and then it's the, it's the end. It's the end when they're doing his funeral and everything. And uh, every dude, it gets me every time. I don't care where I'm sitting, what's going on. When Happy is sitting next to his daughter, and he goes, "Oh, you want something to eat?" And he goes, "She's like cheeseburgers." She's like, "Your dad used to like cheeseburgers." She's like, "I'll get you all the cheeseburgers you want." Yeah, dude. All of a sudden, like I'm like, and my wife is like, "Are you fucking crying?" 
Dude, I still get emotional every time with the snap. Yeah, and it kills you. It kills you. Pepper runs over, and he's just yeah. like, dude, I have to say, one of the best like death actings I've ever seen. In oh, that, yeah. In just any movie, but just the way that he – because he was just looking, and you could tell – like he was like delusional. He really didn't know what was going on. And then Peter comes over. He's like, Mr. Stark, I'm sorry. And I'm just like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because yeah. the whole sh- time, all <laughs> he wanted to do was get Peter back. He felt the most guilty about that. I think me and George were sitting next to each other in the movie theater, dude. And both of us were just bawling like a bunch of bitches over that, over that thing. We were like, oh my God. It's every time, man. So emotional. And the yeah. chills with Cap on your left. Oh. Or yeah, the hammer. Uh, I, I still get I still get goosebumps every time with the hammer, dude. And then the Avengers assemble and yeah. everyone's running. Oh man, the theme, the score. We we we, we waited God knows how many movies just for that one line. Yeah, they almost gave it to us at what like Age of Ultron's post credit. Yeah, at the no no at the end of the movie he's like Avengers, and then it cuts yep. and it's like oh you son of a bitch. <laughs> Oof, yeah, that bro. That's why. I am loving collecting Marvel because the whole time I was piling up all these figure arts, man, all I watched was Infinity War, Endgame, kept going back to back. Then I'd go, I start at Cap, Age of Ultron, Winter Soldier. Like, oh, dude, the, the movies are just so good. The MCU kills it. Here we go. First person, first person of the night. Here we go. Seth, show us the Hulkbusters. OG wants to see him. Bro, it's right there. I don't have to pull him down anymore. You want to see it? He's right over my shoulder. That is the exact reason why I changed my display. Joke's on you, sir. I was prepared. <laughs> I don't even but, know how to pose this 47. Because he just looks I have awesome. him. I have, I have him posed with the Tony Stark portrait with the glasses on. And I have his arm out like that with the missile, oh, with yeah. the missile on it. The thing. Yeah. Yeah, I need to figure out how to... But yeah, George, 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 George is saying, I told you they would still ask. <laughs> dude, everybody wants the Funko Casino to come back, and I'm not doing the Funko Casino anymore, dude. That shit is dead. Funko is dead to me, man. I was going to ask, isn't Funko pretty much dead? I sold, I sold all my pop, all my pops off, and I, I reinvested all the money from that into the Hot Toys. So, and it's funny too because me and you, like right now, are going on are going down like um, similar paths, but different different genres, I would say. So I've always been a huge Marvel Marvel guy. Mm-hmm. And um, I've always been buying Marvel hot toys like since I started buying hot toys. <clears throat> now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, I said I wasn't gonna go down the Star Wars rabbit hole. Is that happening? So the first the first Star Wars one I bought was the non best car Mandalorian. That that one right there just sucked me in. I saw the pictures of it. I was like, dude, I was like, this thing is freaking epic. And I had to have it. Yeah. So <clears throat> I bought it. I bought it from Tate's. And then a couple months, couple months go by and everything, and I didn't get another one. Next thing I know, I see the Darth Maul from Solo in the display case of Tate's. And I'm like, the legs, the 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 robotic legs on that are just sick. Seeing it and seeing pictures don't do it justice. You got to see it in, in person. I uh, I I just bought that off of. Uh, I, I I saw I saw that yeah. And you it was you won't be disappointed. Today. You will you will not be disappointed. I promise you that. So then, you know, I see um, I see George George get um Commander Cody, and I see you got you got Commander Cody, and everybody's getting Commander Cody, and I'm like, dude, I'm like. That thing is freaking awesome. So, what is my what is Mike what does Mike do? Mike actually went out and got me Commander Cody as a Christmas gift. I saw that, and yeah. you got him what Rocket? Yeah, I got him Rocket. Yeah, I got him Rocket. So that was that was you know that that was cool. And then this past week, I'm in Tate's again, and they have they they had the uh, the reissue of the uh, the Black Death Trooper. Oh, the Mando version, yeah. right? Technically, uh, the Mandalorian. I think, yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. 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 So it's then big. I'm seeing that I'm seeing that on display and I'm like, oh my God. And I have our our our, our friend um Nilda Nilda with me. Uh Nilda's with me. And then oh Jesus Christ, my man. Rocco. My man Rocco my man Rocco's in here saying, Have a good stream, boys, but why no two pairs of sunglasses? You blew it. This dude in his sunglasses, man. This guy every listen, I've done two of his live streams lately, and I always play along with whatever he does, but like 
dude, any time, like, this dude had, like, hats piled on the other night, and, like, glasses, this dude's a, this dude's a trip, man, we're actually gonna have him, not this, fr not this Friday, but next Friday, we're gonna have him as a guest on the, uh, on the Geek Show that we do Friday night, so I can't, nice. I can't wait for that, Rocco, Rocco's a cool guy, man. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's dropped by my streams and stuff, too, he's the homie. Yeah, he's, he's a, he's a cool, he's a cool dude, shout out to my man, Rocco. Uh, that, like his song, like his song that he does in his hunt videos, dude. That shit gets like stuck in my head. He's like, "All I wanna do is toy hunt. All I wanna do is toy hunt every day." <laughs> it gets stuck in my head, dude. I can't get it out. It's catchy. It is catchy. It is catchy. So, um, but like uh, back to what I was saying about the Star Wars. It's like you know, Nilda, uh, my buddy Nilda was with me, and she's like, um, she's like, "Which one are you gonna get?" Because I was trying to bounce back and forth either between getting. The Death Trooper or um, Nebula, and I was like, dude, I was like, the Nebula is great, and it goes well with my Marvel and everything that I'm working on. And then, next thing you know, Milda's like, Emperor voice in my ear, buy the Death Trooper. You know you want to, <laughs> do it, do it. Dude, and I don't know if you can see, but I know, dude, you Star Wars Hot Toys are ridi are ridiculous uh, with what you got, man. Because pretty much like what the Mando is is like the like you said the reissue of the Grunt. It yeah. just doesn't have like one gun. So I have a Grunt and then I have a Specialist flanking Krennic, and I love it. Nice. Like they're, they're sick. But the uh, going back to the Solo Mall, I don't know if you saw my post, but I canceled it twice. I pre-ordered <laughs> it twice, canceled it, and then all of a sudden I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. So I bought it outright right before it went waitlisted on Sideshow, and I'm glad I did. It was yeah. supposed to be here today, but. You know, typical. Uh, freaking. The holidays, are, the, the, the holidays are over, people. There should be no issues with deliveries anymore. Just no. saying. Just I don't saying. Know if I put this neck piece in right. We'll yeah. see. Let's, oh, let's put you on the. Let's let's put you on a on the solo screen yeah, and see what's right. the, what's going on. No, no, I don't want me. I want you on the solo screen. There you go. Yes. Did I do that right? Does that look right? Yeah, you took off the. You got to put the chest yeah. piece on though. Yeah. Yeah, that thing falls off. I think Jared broke it. <laughs> one of the pegs, one of the pegs that goes in the hole snapped off. Yep. Freaking Jared. Yep. Have you? So I, I, I gotta ask. I gotta ask this because it's happened to me. Have you ever broken any of your hot toys? Three, all on live streams. What did you? What did you? What did you break? So down, you can see in like the corner right here that Han Solo from yeah. Solo, the deluxe. Um, which. By the way, don't buy the deluxe if anyone's ever looking for it. Buy the regular version because that damn fur jacket, uh, the buttons, dude, are like microscopic. Like I don't even think Ant Man could put them on. It is ridiculous. And I was trying to button them. I broke one of the buttons completely off. Just ripped oh, it off. Jesus. Uh, the Mud Trooper. Oh no! Wait, I broke. Never mind. I broke the belt on Han Solo as well. So I broke two things on one figure. So that was great. I have no idea what the belt was for, but it's done. And then my sideshow battle droid with the staff, the little like wave runner yeah. thing they ride. Um, it's, I don't know if anyone has sideshow pieces, but they are so light. There's oh. like no weight. Oh. So I was messing with it on a stream, super hyped. I got it for like 200 bucks as a steal. I, I had the, the things, the bike sitting here, and I was messing with the battle droid, and my hand fumbled, knocked. The, the speeder thing off and landed right on one of the guns and snapped it clean off. So oh I had my to God. all everything was on live. There was zero chance of that not happening. Oh yeah, nice. we got we we got a request we got a request from my man DJ Booth. He's saying, What's good, Jess and Seth? Can I get a hot toys? I purchased about five additional hot toys oh. in twenty twenty because of you guys. Kareem. He's been yeah, he's been in my shoes. Yeah. So 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 just so Josh, go ahead man, do the hot toys yell, bro. <clears throat> hot toys Hot toys. <laughs> That's good. I, I, I give it. I give it to you. You get the. You get the. the I do the it on my screen too it. now. Anytime yeah. I see you now, my like, hot toys. <laughs> All right, here we here we go. I'll give I'll give it to you, bro. Hot toys. Hot toys. Hot toys. <laughs> you got to see like, and I always joke with I always joke with George because George is like, dude, I can't hit that that high pitch, and I'm like, bro, I'm like, you got to bury, you got to dig deep down into your sack and pull that out, man. Yes, like that's. It. It's like a once a year find down there. <laughs> once a year, you can really nail it out. So I've I've only ever broken one, and and I'm still and I'm still dealing dealing with it. I mean, I fixed it, but it still hurts. 
you know, it like it, it's like it like lingers. So I did the the Hot Toys Lounge, the um, the uh, War Machine from uh, Endgame. And uh, what is that? Is that just put Josh over? <laughs> I I couldn't not read that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We went, we went. We're go. We're we're going kayfabe, uh, kayfabe yeah. right now. <laughs> so the uh, the war the the war the war machine from Endgame. I after the live stream ended. Thank God it didn't happen live. I've you know. Um, I just drop shit on the floor when I'm doing the live stream. Like shit always just falls out of my hand and falls on the floor. But I'm setting it up on my table to do some pictures, some pictures with it. And it slipped out of my hand. It hit the floor. Now I don't have carpet in my room. I have hardwood floors. Oh. So it hit the floor, both legs shot off and one of the arms shot out. And I'm like sitting there like, oh. I'm like, oh my God. So luckily I was able to pop the legs and the arm back on, but the arm that popped off the, um, the shoulder pad with the spring on it broke. Mm-hmm. So luckily, it, it, the the crack wasn't too bad, and I was actually able to glue it back together. So, that's, but dude, that's like the most nerve wrecking thing in in the world is dropping dropping a hot toy, especially the die cast ones because oh, of bet. all the all the weight behind it. Yeah, that it was. Um, I don't think I've broken anything else. I mean, I'm I'm sure that I have. I don't think. Yeah, I think it's just <laughs> those three things. <laughs> Which is still horrible. Austin, Austin Wells is saying, "Seth, make Seth's Hot Toys Battle Cry a text tone, please." <laughs> <laughs> we got my man KK in the chat. What up? What's going on, Seth? Hoping you have a nice. I am KK is actually the real MVP because KK hit me up during last week's um, live stream and said, "Hey, Seth," because he lives in my area. He said, "Hey, Seth, IKEA got a restock on Detox." Nice. So he's he's the real he's the real MVP. I should like have a thing up like where I could post a graphic and have like that picture of like Kevin Durant crying with the tear. <laughs> you're, the real, you're the real MVP, man. <laughs> um, I'm. I know you've already told me and told everything, but how many details did you end up buying total? So I wound up. So I had two originally, mm -hmm. and I had that shelf behind me. I got rid of the. I got rid of the shelf and I bought three three details. So I got four right here, and then I'm gonna. I got one more in my truck that I've got to take out and build okay. and put it on the uh, put it on the other side of the room, and then. Uh, you know, but yeah, I dude, I'm having so much. I'm having so much fun with um, the lights and everything that I that I hooked up. So the I don't know where. Do you have lights in your in your in your detoffs? Uh, no, I need to figure that out. One, two. I think I told you this. My house is old as shit, man. Yeah, and yeah. You were yeah. You were telling me telling I me. I have. That. So this whole wall behind me, I have yeah. one plug, one outlet that's right here, and my house is so old it doesn't have the ground. The, the three prong it's yeah yeah, yeah oh jesus so, christ oh yeah dude it's awesome so uh we have to buy the adapter to make it go from two prong to three prong and then i have to plug a surge protector into it and at that point i just get super sketchy with having that <laughs> i'm just like I, you know what i don't really need lights right now like when i get a new house yeah. i'll do that it's, but. it's like I, it's like I, every time i hear sketchy it's like it makes me think of that song on um on tiktok where they're playing in the video don't be suspicious don't be suspicious it's like Jared, it's like it. Dude, but uh, Jared, Jared, breaking hot toys one Dude, at a time. Just change the outlet. I yeah. I barely know how to put gas in my car, bro. So so so, bro. If I ever if I ever make it up to your neck of the woods, which I would definitely like to plan to do, because I would love to come hang out and do a hunt with you, bro, especially March? in Ohio. That's that's one of March. my goals, dude. One of my goal one of my goals is to start you know traveling around a little bit because you know I want to hit up other other states and I want to go to other stores and things like that. So. A lot of uh, unknown fact. Uh, I'll call this um, Seth fact. Um, I actually used to be an electrician. Oh, I, music to my ears. So I will definitely come up and, and try to hook you up with adding outlets and making things safe in your in your space for you. I need so, it. but like, but like, yeah. So like, the lights that are in my Detox, I actually bought those lights from Home Depot. Uh, everyone says that yeah. the Home Depot lights are, but I bought the, the, the shit diode lights. I don't like them at all. Yeah, so I got the lights from I got the lights from Home Depot. They work perfectly fine. I run them up and down the metal bars. I zip tie them and everything. And then I had this. I had this. Oh, hold on. Let's put you on the big screen. Since I actually did that. something, there we go. Oh, that's dope. My my camera is terrible. I'm not using my good webcam. Oh, uh, okay. There's. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I like that. Not, that's yeah. clean. That's clean. I like that with him holding the helmet like that. 
Yeah, give a little bit. Little bit. But anyway, um, sorry. But like, uh, you know, like I use the Home Depot lights and they work perfect. They work perfectly great. I had this whole thing that I wanted to do where I made everything automated. You know, so George, George has really good automated stuff in his in his Star Wars room. And and, um, you know, he gave me he told me what to buy and everything like that. So I bought a bunch of stuff to start only to realize that I needed to spend more money because I needed more stuff. And like before, before I knew it, I was going to be like almost at a thousand dollars just to make everything automated in my room. And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, fuck that. I ain't doing that shit. I returned everything I bought back to Amazon. And then I went to Home Depot. I bought the lights. I actually bought a smart plug off of Amazon and I hooked everything up before the light street before the live stream. So, nice. so, so guys, so here's a, here's a quick, here's a quick look just to give everybody a quick glimpse. Cause this is funny and I love doing this. <laughs> Alexa, turn off hot toys. Hot toys. Alexa, turn off hot toys. Okay. See? And the lights turn off. And the lights turn off. It's perfect. Alexa, turn on hot toys. Hot toys? Yes, I meant hot toys. You fucking bitch. Turn it on. Jesus. Thank you. Still getting used to working with her a little bit. Yeah, she's a pain. I wonder how many so, people the Alexa just went off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was funny. So, like, I was showing George before the live stream, and I was FaceTiming him. And he's like, bro, he's like, you got to start warning me before you do that, because the Alexa was going off in his room. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, the clap on, clap off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Geoforce is racing, saying my Echo is going bonkers right now. My Alexa is like Hot Toys. It's not supported. <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. What, um, what are you open? Are you open? You're opening up something tonight, right? Oh, I've got, I've, 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 I, I've got the the mecca, the mecca of all. I mean, you, everybody knows I'm, I'm mm -hmm. army building Hulkbusters right now. So you know that that that's. I still where need I'm to at. get one, man. I still need to just pull the flipping trigger. Oh my god, dude. like, I, like honestly, like this, that the 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 Hulkbuster was like the most nerve wracking purchase of my entire existence um because i went to tate's i bought it directly from tate's i bought the deluxe one it was like twelve hundred dollars that's what so the arm I, right yeah so uh, so everybody so everybody that's seen seen that toy hunt video with me buying it they saw all how how um how hap how happy i was walking out the store with it but mm -hmm. unfortunately they didn't see what happened after the camera went off so after the camera went off mike and george were with me and I'm just like walking out of the store and like I have just like the most like depressed look on my face. And they're like, what's the matter, man? They're like, you got the Hulkbuster. You got the one you were looking for. And I'm like, I can't believe I just spent $1,200 on this. I'm like, my wife is going to freaking like have my head on a stick. And the greatest thing is, is that George was egging me on for the longest time to buy it. And I finally bought it. And I think I actually knew why George was doing it. Because after we had gotten out the store, George is like, hey, man, listen. He goes, if... um." You know, your wife gets mad at you. He's like, uh, I'll buy it off of you, bro. <laughs> you know, it's like he set up the whole thing. He's like, he set up the whole thing. He's like, he's like, I'll, I'll buy it with you. <laughs> Dude. Oh, Jesus. Is that, so was it just the 1200 on one figure or was it just the, the sole amount of the dollar in general? It doesn't matter if you I, bought nine figures with it. You spent that much uh, at once. Yeah. I mean, it was just crazy. It was just yeah. crazy. I mean, it's like, I've never really dropped that. The only, the only thing I ever bought that was even close to that. I have an I a quarter scale iron studio statue of uh, captain America from Endgame. Yeah. Um, I paid, I, I bought that from the, uh, the collector zone. And I got that, and I got that for about like eight hundred bucks, and that was like the largest purchase I ever made collecting wise to to date. Yeah. So I was just, I was just like, you know, I I, I didn't, I was excited, I was excited about the Captain America because right. you know Captain America is my jam. Mm -hmm. So, but oh God, man, it just, it, 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 it was it, it was rough, but you know what? After I got it out of the box and I did the video on it and I assembled yeah. it and everything, dude, it's like all the worries and everything went away you know went away like i always go into george's like whenever i go to george's house i always go into his room and i'm like hey dude because uh, he has the hulk versus um wolverine sideshow statue Oof. 
So I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, dude, I'm like, you ever gonna get rid of that statue? Because he was, he's going Star Wars. So I'm like, bro, I'm like, you ever gonna sell that? I'm like, I'll buy it, I'll buy it off of you. And then, you know, and then every once in a while, George is like, dude, he's like, you still selling the Hulkbuster? He's like, I'll, I'll buy the Hulkbuster from you. You know, <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like we, we, we jerk around with each other back and forth. And that's what actually happened. So like right before uh, Brian's sale, a uh, mm-hmm. buddy of mine messaged me and he goes, yeah, he's selling a whole bunch of statues. So I bought three statues from him. So I got the Hulk. I do have the Hulk versus Wolverine now. I've got to take it still in the box. I have the, um, the Mark, the Mark three uh, Iron Man statue. And I have the Wolverine, the Wolverine premium format. So I still have yeah. to unbox all, all of those. So, um, speaking of high dollar purchases, I'll tell a story real quick if you don't mind, because no, I don't. Go ahead. Probably Please, a lot of people your, your don't guess. remember this. Um, my first Hot Toys experience, buying experience, because um, I went through the phases like everybody else. I started with like three and three quarter Star Wars. I dabbled in Funko Pops. Um, and then I got into Marvel Legends like out of nowhere, and that was like my first real experience with like six inch figures. I did Legends and Black Series at the same time. Then I got my Mezco, and then you know you just kind of climb up the scale from yeah. there, price point wise. Uh, C two E two, twenty eighteen I think. Whatever doesn't really matter the year, but I went with Cincy Nerd, uh, Cody, Foxy for real, uh, Sal from the SOS Hunters, uh, Toy Bills, and I. Th- think that was it It was just us five four or five whatever um the night before we left for the road trip we were all drinking at cincy's house and i looked at cincy i'm like man these hot toys look good bro i was like you selling any he's like i mean sure he's like i need some spending money for c2e2 because if you guys don't know what c2e2 is it's a very art heavy and comic heavy convention gotcha Uh, so that's where almost like every marvel artist is there like big time artists are there selling like original like i have i bought an original comic print from an x-men like i have three original comic pages um that that's where i got my first one he that's where he buys all of his art is pretty much that convention so i was like well which ones are you selling he's like take your pick so i walked through i handed that man a thousand dollars cash i bought five hot toys and that was my first purchase i was like i mean okay if you're going to let these go i bought netflix daredevil Netflix Punisher, Age of Ultron Thor, Age of Ultron Black Widow, and K2SO for $1,000. Woo! That's a yeah. good deal. And fun fact, that K2SO is the one that I sold to Brian, which is originally Cincy's, and now it's back home. So <laughs> that thing traveled between three people over the course of like three years. It's, so it's a, it, it is not a tri- it's not the triangle, <laughs> but the cir- but the yeah. circle. So $1,000, first time ever holding a hot toy. I was very intoxicated at that point. Yeah, and that like, okay, the, oh thousand dollars cash. So, I, and, and it's and it's crazy now for what that K two S O resells for now. Yep. You yep. know, so that that that's a hell of a deal. Like my first my first hot toy that I purchased, I par- purchased at a con. It was um, Florida Florida Supercon down in Miami, and Mike Mike was Mike was with me when I made the purchase. I bought the uh, Captain America from um, Infinity War. Mm. That was my first. That was my first Hot Toys purchase, and I bought it. I showed it in the. I showed it in the video and everything, and then I put the box to the side and I didn't open it for like a month. Mm. And then I finally decided one day to just take it out, and open it, and then ever ever since that I was like, okay, I'm like, I need I need these like in my life like now. But yeah, but like I I agree with you. So like Funko is like a gateway drug, which leads to yeah. legend, legends, Black Series, and then from there you go to your 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 Mezco and your Mafex and your Fig Arts, and then and then that's when you go to your your Hot Toys, and then obviously the evolution is um, quarter scale statues, and then after that you're just buying life size shit. <laughs> yeah, or you're buying like the, the the like what is it like the X. XM one statues are the, the crazy yeah, the like XM, yeah statues. the XM yeah the XM statue yeah or Prime XM Prime One yeah Prime like One yeah but yeah you know what I'm talking about it's just it like stair steps almost <laughs> like yeah. instead of snowballing downhill you're you're going uphill with yeah. the the entry price of that stuff and that's like I consider us influencers only because we do influence people to to make decisions because in, oh, in my group and, and other groups. I'm seeing you made me buy my first hot toy. You did this. And a lot of people say they can't afford hot toys, which is understandable. But if you're a, a legends collector, if you're a pop collector, you can damn sure afford a hot toy. Cause if you buy a case of legends, 
that's half of a hot toy. Yeah, because it's like and, 120, 130 bucks. And the, the rate that the the waves of legends come out, sometimes two, three a month. Yeah. You get hit from Hasbro because they don't tell you. The thing that I do like about hot toys is you know when they're coming out. You might not know specifically when they're coming out because of the delay, yeah. but at least it's not, hey, we're dropping the Mark 47. Boom, there's it's sold out. You know what I mean? Like I I, I totally agree because uh, you don't they first of all they don't they don't put a quantity on it so it's not like it's not like it's limited which is right. great which is great um you know and you me and you know because you know and so do everybody else in here that does toy hunting even uh Rocco you know Rocco knows it Mike uh Mike knows it everyone uh everybody in here that's toy hunters know, knows it you don't have to compete with other collectors or other resellers you right. know you just order it, it comes to you, or you find it in the store and, and you buy it because you're you're least likely gonna find um you're least likely gonna find somebody buying all those up at that price point, whereas they can buy legends for like 20, you know, 20 bucks and then resell them for like 70, 80, 80 dollars. You're not gonna get someone who's gonna buy a hot toy for 250 bucks and then try to double their money. It's not gonna happen. They're just gonna get mm -hmm. laughed at laughed at. Yeah. You know. And also for people who I'm assuming if, the, if people are in here watching the hot toys lounge, they know somewhat about hot toys. The thing that I think people tend to forget is they're when they say, Oh, it's such a long wait. It's just like, that's every toy company. It's just sideshows doing their pre-orders or hot toys is doing a pre-order a year in advance to give people the chance. Yeah. Because dude, imagine if Hasbro did that with their legends. Hey, this is coming out in, in four months pre-order the wave here people would be like oh my god i'm i'm, I'm scrambling to get this but they yeah. just drop it because it's, it's a retail space hot toys isn't they don't have a retail space unless it's comic shops you can't well, go anywhere and buy it so well it's, it's, it's not, not even it's not even it's not even that because um so, as far as the united states goes sideshow is the only re uh, the exactly. only distributor of, of hot Brandon. toys yeah so it's like they're the, you know so the only way the only way you can get it is through sideshow or right. you get it through one of the companies that uh you know one of the local comic shops or you get it from another website you know that yeah. that sideshow distributes to so, so it so i mean i just kind of wanted to say that because i think a lot of people kind of get that twisted of well it's a year before this hot toy comes out yeah but also that's what every other company would do if they did like the pre-orders to the scale yeah. of hot toys because if we knew everything that was coming out ahead of time, collecting would be a lot easier, which is once again, why I like collecting hot toys is because you know yeah. what to expect. But that's also one thing that I missed about 2020 was the con exclusive because New York and San Diego are so fun because when they announce it, it's like a guarantee, like maybe a two month wait. So it's like, mm -hmm. all right, bet like I'm getting something it's brand new. Like let's go because the dark side Anakin like two years ago when that came out, I had a, a homie, uh, at San Diego, he bought it from the booth and shipped it to me that day. And I was oh, like one true. of the like not to flex, but I was like one of the yeah, first yeah. people to have it. And everyone was like, "Bro, do a review." I was like, "No, I suck at reviews." <laughs> 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 I, like I'll post a picture of it. Like that'd be cool. But I remember I was like one of the first people to get the dark side. And I mean, granted, it's just a head sculpt and a base change. But yeah, I mean, now the thing's no, six hundred bucks. <laughs> listen, going to the cons is like definitely one of the things I missed in twenty twenty. Yeah, I mean, going. The first major con I went to was when we went to New York Comic Con in, in 2019. And I got to tell you, man, I had, even though I'm from New York and it was great to be back home, I had such a blast at, at that con. It was, it was nothing I've ever, I've ever experienced. So it's like, I love doing the cons and like being, uh, being where we're at right now on social media and everything, like, you know, like your status, my status, and like other YouTubers and stuff like that, like, I would just love to go to cons right now. And I, and again, my favorite thing is just like what, what you say all the time. I just love chatting it up with people. Dude, I you know? love chopping it up, man. Like, I don't even care. Like I do the hot toys lounge and it's like opening up the hot toy is like secondary because I just like enjoying chatting with everybody in the chat. Yeah. You know, Dude, that that's what I was telling you about before we hopped on. Like I, not to, to yeah. toot my own horn. I, I feel like I was one of the first people to in the community to do live stream because the first time I did it, I think it was for like San Diego Funko Pops. And I was just talking about those like yeah. back in whatever year. But I got it to where it's just like I enjoy chatting. That's why I told you like the Hot Toys Lounge. I love this vibe because it's yeah. it's what I do What on my streams. I don't really care about the figure a lot, but 
I use that as a way to open and enjoy my figures while talking to people. So, or else they so just pile up. <laughs> so it's funny. It's like it's like you know, like on on air right now, we're like, yeah, we don't care about the figures. After we get off, the the camera stops rolling. We're looking at it. We're like, my precious. Yeah, exactly. Precious. <laughs> Dude, I do that all the time because I'm not really focused on it. And then once I'm done and I turn around, I'm like, damn, that looks pretty good. Like, yeah, that was a good purchase. <laughs> so we got a, we got my man Alex in the chat, and he's asking, at Josh, what would you consider your top Star Wars Marvel figure? Oh, boy. Um, so shooting from the hip, my favorite Star Wars figure in my collection has to be K2SO. I was about to say, man, that's, like, that's like your baby. It's it's amazing. I, I don't know. I just – like I have – you, you guys can't even see it. I have a New Hope yeah, Han and a New Hope Chewie. Let me see if I, can, uh, if I make it bigger. Yeah. People can see it oh, right, right there. Right by <laughs> my finger. It's a New Hope Han and a New Hope Chewie sitting on a shelf. One of the, Two of the coolest Hot Toys figures and the most iconic. That Chewbacca, by the way, is amazing. If you ever come across it, buy it. George, uh, George has the um, the Han and Chewie, actually. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's a great whatever. It's awesome. But K2, man, just how big he is and and the the whole bottom half of him is die cast for people who don't have them yeah. um, i believe his arms are die cast it's just his body is plastic but it's it's like a mini iron man bro it's it feels yeah. great it's it's this whole rogue one shelf in general is just a, an, an insane shelf and then my marvel figure sentimental wise it's the scarlet witch right here the age of ultron because karina surprised the hell out of me for my birthday two years ago I ended up having to sell it to Brian along with many others to yeah. pay yeah, for, for her engagement. engagement, ring. The engagement ring. So having that back in my collection is is wonderful. But outside of that, my favorite Marvel figure at this moment is the Mark Forty Three nice. that you can't see because of the glare. Yeah. But I love it. It's yeah, fun. I have the Mark. I have the Mark Forty Three. He's still sitting in the box. I love the um, the the like the the base like the, the rubble the, the base yeah. it's it's like its own shelf it has not too much but it has just enough to make the base worth displaying you know exactly I mean? it's, exactly it's i love it so i got a I, I i'm glad i got like another like another true hot toy collector on with me because i always like to ask this because it's just it's just me i love jared bro what what, what did jared say I'm he said he meant the mark 47 <laughs> oh he meant the mark 47 <laughs> um i'm how do you feel about the Scarlet Witch? How do you feel about the hair? Because I don't like doll hair. I, okay. I look at that and it looks like a Barbie. It looks like a Barbie to me. Mm -hmm. I like sculpted hair, and I think they should do that on more of the female hot toys. So I, I'm 100% agree. I personally, I don't like it, but it's one of those things where it's not going to stray me away from buying the figure. Yeah. The end game Black Widow, beautiful sculpted hair. They nailed it. Like. They need to do that all the time, but like the Civil War Black Widow, if if you do it right, it looks great. I, I guess I just don't try to worry about it in a way. It's just like yeah. it is what it is. That's what it was back then. I'm sure when it came out, people loved it. Now that they've seen some sculpted hair and see how well Hot Toys can do it, they're like, all right, go sculpted hair, Hot Toys. Come on. See, so. and like, the, and like, that's the thing. Like, I, w I feel, I feel like, like, if I had one of those with the actual hair, like, mm -hmm. I'd have to wake up every morning and just kind of like give it a quick comb. You oh, know, dude, just to you make... got it. No, no <laughs> lie, you got a fucking hairspray and put oh, like, shit. like product in it <laughs> to make it perfect. <laughs> and you got to buy the little brush and shit. So, I mean, oh, hey, at the end of the day, they're all dolls anyway. So, might as well do their hair. So, my my man over here, OG fan, when Star Wars was just Ooh, Star Wars. God, that is such a long name. How do you feel about reissues? Devalues the collectible or brings more collectors in? So as far as I feel, um, I can care less about reissues. I think it's great, and I'm sure Josh would agree with me, especially if it's ones that we've missed out on and we have the opportunity to get it at a retail price. Um, you know, me and Josh aren't aren't resellers. We don't, we don't re I mean, you know, we're not we don't we don't we're not flippers. We're not in the community to buy something and then instantly turn around and make money on it so as far as i feel like that that affecting us it does mm -hmm. it doesn't because the only thing it, it, i i'm excited about for reissues is like i just said we get it at at a retail rather than having to pay a ridiculous price for for Correct. it so i don't know if you agree with me on that or not um my, my my turn yeah okay two things about the reissues one Hot Toys is the, the first line recently that i'm collecting that i give a shit about value I, I don't care. Back in the day, like I said, 
I sold all my hot toys. I think I had like 20, 25. I sold all those and I sold my SH figure arts. I was able to pay Karina's engagement ring off. Being transparent, it was just north of $8,000. I paid it off in two weeks by selling everything. Nice. So that way, I do enjoy the value of things because I consider all this like liquid investment. Because at any point, if, if shit goes south for me, if my bank account's zero, yeah. I know that I have stuff back here. That's not my main purpose for collecting. Don't get me wrong. But the value wise is nice for Hot Toys because they retain it so well. The reissues, I have zero problem with because honestly, once this Mark 47 sells out again, it's not going to be $1,000. Will it be five to 600? Probably. I mean, you never know. So I yeah. think the, the reissues will still have their value. But if you notice, they've only reissued that stuff that's like at $1,000. Yeah. Like the Mark 5 was eight to 1,000. The, yeah. The Mark 47 was like 12 to 15 at one point. <clears throat> so I actually saw the Mark um, the Mark 5 uh, plastic on Macari the other day for like 230 200 something dollars. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm like, should I, or should I get the die cast one? And I'm like, you know what? I'll be happier with the die cast. And, and again, I'm, 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 I'm glad that we're able to talk, talk about this. And I'm glad I'm able to have hot toy conversation with other hot toy collectors. So how do you do you, so when you po when you pose your hot toys and, and, when I well, like just like when I when I pose mine, what I normally do is that I go to Sideshow's website and I yep. look and I look at the um, the product the product shots. Yep. So I'm gonna have to call bullshit because I don't know about you, but bro, I've been taking every Iron Man that I've possibly have owned and I'm trying to pose it doing the superhero the superhero landing with the fifth. You can't fucking do it. It's bullshit. It's photoshopped. Fuck you, sideshow for doing that crap and giving people hope. There is one <laughs> Iron Man, and and I only know this because I took it off of Brian's display that comes with the interchangeable torso to give okay. you that pose. So I know there's one that can do it, but like you said, no shot. This guy's doing it. Yeah, zero chance. It's just... Like I shot a review. I shot a review last night on uh, last night on an Iron because we're um, you know, a review last night on an Iron Man hot toy, um, the shotgun, the shotgun Iron Man. Mm -hmm. And that's from one of the ones from the house party protocol. And one of the pictures on Sideshow's website is the freaking superhero pose. And I'm like, I'm like doing it. I'm like trying to twist the waist without breaking it. You know, I even got to the point where I, I was twisting it too much and I made the leg pop off, Boy. you know, but I was able to put the leg back, you know, the leg back on, you know, cause they have those ball, the, those ball joints. And it's just like, why? Why do you give us false hope by posting that picture? All I want to do is put a freaking Iron Man in the superhero pose, and I can't even do that. I, I, I agree with you 100%. I, you probably can't see the Darth Maul pose, but this that pose right there Yeah. and that Krennic, Crean and I worked on those poses for four hours. Jesus Christ. Two, literally two hours apiece, bro. It took so long to get that that Maul pose because of like the, the bendy wires and all of yeah. his like, tunic or road mm -hmm. thing. And then to get Krennic, bro, the cape is shit on this figure. You have to roll the roll the cape up behind him, and like like do some sort of like like uh, like uh, cross stitch pattern shit. Like fold it over each other and keep it like overlapping Jesus. so it rolls in the back so it stays with that flow. Dude, it <sighs> is. But you look on sideshow and you're like, damn, that's cool. I'm gonna do that pose. Nope, yeah. no sir, no you're not. Not happening. That's why. That's why I also call. I also call BS. On their uh, on their YouTube page because they have that that show called How to Be a Pose How to Be a Poser, and it's like, dude, it's like, there's no way, there's no way that 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 this shit can contort. Yeah. In that I, in that position. I I feel like some people just have the touch. Like they do. They they, 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 they do. Manipulate it. I'm I'm a big yeah. dummy, bro. I this is as good I feel as like I, I, I dude. I, I I feel you. I mean, like, listen, dude. Like when I when I first got the that the Captain America from Infinity War, and I was trying to put on the the Wakandan gauntlets. I'm like I'm shitting a brick trying to put that on. I watch other people other people that have been doing hot toys for years about how they get it on. Yeah. The dude's just fucking jamming it on. You know, he's just jamming it on there, and I'm like Jesus Christ. I'm like you know, be a little delicate with it, why don't you? And he's yeah. like. I was like, you got to be a little rough with this stuff sometimes. And then like ever yeah. since then, and then also with um, my buddy Craig, um, who was in the chat, uh, mm -hmm. Half-Assed Reviews, he has a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, he did a live stream with me and he actually showed me how to do some of the posing. 
he showed me how to do some of the posing with the hot toys. So the more, when I did that live stream with him, I got super comfortable, you know, just twisting them and contorting them. Right. So now it's like, that's, I'll just throw the, I'll just throw the thing around the fucking room. I don't give a shit. That's kind of you know? how I am now. Like, like I, well, once again, like I told you before we talked, yeah. uh, the iron spider that I got. So yeah. just, just for context chat, um, I got the iron spider hot toys in, uh, yesterday and before we went live seth was asking me what i was getting and i showed him that and he asked the question of how do you feel about the suit <laughs> um we all know the the suit is not the best for posing but i got that iron spider for literally like 100 bucks i traded two figure arts that i got in brian's sale that transparency probably paid four dollars a piece for whatever <laughs> um I, I traded two of those and 100 bucks cash to a friend uh, a friend of mine that just he was glad that i was looking for one because he just so happened to let one go yeah, I'm, up, I'm. I literally am going to pose the shit out of it because of that. Um, and I think I, you know what, deja vu. I think I already said that on the yeah. stream. So whatever, we have more people in here, so now new people yeah. know. But anyways, like you said, that's how I am with stuff now. I'm not as um, like nervous dealing with. Yeah, them. like yeah. yeah th there's a comfort. There's a comfort level now. Yeah. Yeah, but bro, the first ones, I was just like, oh my god, I, I felt like I was holding an infant in my hands. Yeah. Like, I don't want to move them too roughly yeah. so soft yeah. soft hands soft yeah hands. <laughs> gentle gentle touches so, um all right let's let's uh let's break this bitch out so we've got the igor right here that we've picked up in uh big dubs uh fire sale and i am totally built army building hulkbusters right now i mean i've got the hulkbuster right here i have the other one on top of my tv from infinity war which was the power pose one and then this mamma jamma and i i would consider i i think i would consider this the og hulkbuster because i think this is the one that the hulkbuster was was modeled uh I mean, modeled after the exact same like yeah it like the same like kind of shape yeah. of it, you know what i mean so i i've <laughs> been i've been aching for weeks to take this out and since i wanted I to save it I wanted to get. Yeah, I wanted to save it for for a special stream and nothing. No, no, no stream more special than having my actual first Hot Toys guest on the Hot Toys yeah. Lounge. So let's 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 take this let's take this beast out and 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 see what this is all about. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I've seen it in person and I'm excited to watch it through a camera. <laughs> Wait, hell yeah. Oh my god, this thing is so sexy. Hey, thanks, George. Dude, I want the Gladiator Hulk back in my collection. Oh, dude, I love my Glad. I love my Gladiator. Dude, I told I told you how I got my uh, how I got my Gladiator Hulk. So I bought. <laughs> dude, it, honest, honestly, all joking aside, being a YouTuber sometimes does have its perks. It pays you know, off. again, like you like you say, full full transparency. It yeah. does it does have its per its perks. So in one of the six scale groups on Facebook, um someone had it up for sale and the guy was selling it for like five hundred bucks. So I said I thought that was pretty reasonable at the time because it was going for like eight hundred dollars at like the high at like yeah. the high point. So I messaged the guy I messaged the guy and I said Hey, I said, can you just send me some pics just so I can get an idea of it? But I'm like really interested in it and I'm, I'm ready to go if I like what I see. So the guy goes, wait a minute. He goes, I know your name. He's like, you're on YouTube. He's like, you're what's pop. And I said, yeah, man. I said, he's like, oh, dude, he's like, that's so crazy that you're reaching out to me. I'm yeah. like, well, I'm like, you've got something I want. So yeah, I'm reaching out to you. <laughs> so, so then he's like, so then he's like, oh man, he goes, this is awesome. He goes, bro, he goes, to be honest with you, he goes, I don't even want the damn thing anymore. He goes, I'll give it to you for 350 ship. I'm like, you don't even see me any pictures, not pictures. Yeah. I'm like, we're done. The conversation's over. I'm like, yep. give me your PayPal. I'll shoot you the money right now. That is, if I remember correctly, that is below retail. Yeah. I think it was like 370 or 380. Oh my God! Oh it's like a small. It's like a small child. I just looked like you pulled a, a baby. Yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I just pulled the baby. Exactly out. What she just did? Uh, uh, you did this. She said, "Oh, oh." Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Simba. Yep. <laughs> oh my God! This thing is so epic. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger. Like I thought. I this is almost on the scale of like the um, like the Hulk. Yeah. I was just gonna say he he reminds me of like the gladiator hawk. Yeah. But with how old that that figure is, I'm sure they weren't even thinking to do like big boy size like the Hulkbuster. Oh my god, dude, this thing is freaking sick. 
Yeah, that is. Wow. Oh, and it's got the you need to go full cam, come... I think. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let yeah. me adjust. Let me adjust. People don't want to see my ugly ass right now. <laughs> I was evil on the screen. <laughs> You've been teasing that thing forever. Yeah, look at this. Oof. Look at this beautiful, beautiful thing. And now this is this is non diecast. Um, I I hope they do eventually reissue it in diecast because I would buy it again. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've got nothing better to do with my money. Clearly. Oh my god, this thing is so freaking epic. It's like Hulkbuster's child. It is. It like is. Like size wise. God, it's like I'm trying to actually see like what's actual like movable. Yeah. On it. Dude, that oh, thing looks incredible, moves. though. The hands, the hand, the fingers have articulation on it. Oh. Yeah, because that's not like a power pose like the Infinity War Hulk Buster, no. right? That's like full on. Like, oh, and and he left the 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 freaking batteries in it. Oh, good. Oh, which I'm gonna have to take the batteries out afterwards. Because unfortunately, unfortunately, we have uh, issues here in Florida with salt in the air and corroding the uh, the batteries. Look Dude, that thing looks crazy. What in the s? Someone just said the the detail on the spine. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It's all lit up. It's all lit up now. We got the eyes oh, lit man. up. We got the chest lit up. I love this, dude. Yeah, that's sick. My only gripe, my only gripe about like my actual Hulk Buster, is is how many batteries it came with, and, and where the battery placement is. There is a special place in hell for the fucking engineer who yeah. came up with the battery placement and how many batteries that thing took. Yeah, since he since he bought the Hawkbuster uh, before the deluxe got or before it reissued as a deluxe, yeah, and, uh, that was the, obviously the first time I saw it in person, and I remember him saying like, "Did you like?" There's like calf compartments. Like, oh yeah, I, it's like crazy. every pretty much every limb has like two compartments for the batteries. Oh my god, this is so crazy! This yeah. is so cool. That thing's awesome. I bet you, I bet you that person that we were talking about before the live, uh, during the live stream, mm -hmm. before we went on, is seeing this right now, and he's like, "Oh, that's probably the next one I got to get." It is <laughs> a fair assessment. That's a uh, yeah. that's quite the piece that not very many people have. Yeah, that is this is very this thing is beautiful. This thing is beautiful. I love you, yeah. Igor. I, I think I love Igor more than I love my children. I would probably say the same thing once I get Hulkbuster. Oh, dude, you get, dude, you get Hulk Buster. Forget about it, dude. Your whole life is gonna get like flipped upside down, dude. But I mean, like here, like I can actually That's zoom cool. in with my, with my camera, so, so you guys could see like all the detail and everything on the spine. Dude, the weather, that. the weathering is pretty yeah. crazy too. Oh, dude, the blue. I love the freaking blue on this. Is it like metallicy? I know I already said yeah. the same person, but the I already blue, forget. The blue, like is the blue, the blue is like super metallic, and I love the metal because it's like a, it's like almost like a gun, like a gun, gun metal. metal. Yeah, that was going to say the same thing, man. That the oh, the contrast so is cool. trippy good. I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to read some instruction, the instruction manual on this. But it's funny though, like I'm looking, like here, let me zoom back out. Like I'm looking at it right now, and like I don't like to make fun of people, but dude, this dude's like back is like so hunched, it looks like he's got a bad case of like scoliosis. <laughs> Hunchback. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hello, Quasimodo. Yeah. But this is cool. Like these upper pieces come up. Dude, this thing is just, the, dude, this thing is, honestly is the is the tits. Yeah. This thing, this, this thing is is honestly ridiculous. I love this freaking Igor, man. This This thing is ridiculous. You know, the only thing that I'm worried about sometimes with these bigger ones is that they don't come with the base. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sometimes, like, it, it, if you just look at it the wrong way, it might fall over. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, <clears throat> where are you going to put them? Have you even decided that? So, no, um, well, Hulkbuster, um, the, uh, the Iron Man Mark III statue is actually going next to the Hulkbuster. So mm -hmm. that's, that, that's actually reserved. Um, he's probably going to go next to... Um, the other Hulk Buster that I have, and the two Hulk and the two Hulks. So, I'm actually getting ready to. I'm going to be doing a um, doing a room tour soon because nice. everyone everyone and their mother's been asking me for like a room tour for years, and it's like you know I just don't want to throw a throw throw a video together and be like, look, here's my here's my collection. Yeah. You know, I want to take time. I want to take people through it. I want things to look perfect. So it's like, you know, I, I mean, you I, can I, you can understand. Yeah, I don't. I just. I put out pretty pathetic videos, <laughs> bro. I just, I just grip it and rip it on some videos. I'm like, I, don't no, I, I, I feel you, man. I feel you. But dude, like, yeah, some of the parts on here. Oh my God, dude. I'm in like love with this thing. 
Did I might just sleep. He might he might just sleep in the bed with me tonight. I might just take my wife to the curb tonight. We might have we we might have him uh, the, Igor just sleeping with me. Storage unit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, the store the storage unit's where it's at, dude. I don't have to answer to anybody. You know, it's nice and quiet. It's nice and quiet and peaceful. You know, bro. Nice. I I I fucking trip when when I start your videos because my kids watch them with me. As <clears> I think <throat> which... when I posted before, and I br brother before you even say anything, my homie <clears throat> Parker raps <laughs> logic. He raps like current. No, no, no. <laughs> and it's just, like he hears everything. <clears throat> Yeah. So, but what I was saying is, the kids asked me, they're like, "Why is he, why is he sleeping in that the storage room?" I'm like, <laughs> I, "That's what happens when you spend a lot of money, guys." I was like, yeah. "You get kicked to the curb." I was like, "Just yeah. think, when me and your mom get married, like that's probably going to happen to me." And they're like, "Really?" I'm like, "No, it's a joke." Like, <laughs> mission, mission accomplished. <laughs> but it's just, it's just so funny. They're like, "Wow, why is he?" And he's in the back of the truck. Why is he doing that? It's like, because it's funny. <laughs> It is funny, you know, and, and and you know as you know as well as I as well as I do, you know, if you want to be noticed on on YouTube, you know, you gotta you gotta do some things sometimes that help you stand out from you gotta be different from, man from, from everybody else, and you got and you gotta be different. And and I again, it, it's not a competition with me. Um, I I enjoy doing YouTube because I get to share my experiences with, with people, and yeah. I get to connect with people, which is obviously the most important thing. Yep. You know, but I like to have fun with it. And I think the skits give a little extra added, you know, added, added thing. So it's like, I'm actually looking at like my, um, my retention, my retention rate and all that stuff lately. After the skits over, dude, my retention rate just goes down. Nobody even gives a shit about the hunts anymore. People just want to see the skits. Bro, I was going to text you this. It was either today or yesterday, but you are fucking killing it on YouTube right now, dog. Oh, your, your video that you just put out had like 7k views the first day. Yeah, it's so it just broke. It just broke ten thousand this afternoon already. And so that's it's, it's like, what yeah. been up for maybe forty eight hours. Uh, what? It, your video has been up for what? Yeah, it's been out since two, like, since Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just bro. I saw that on because I I think I watched it the next day and it's at like six point six. I was like, and I, then I go back and I'm like, well, what's his other videos? I'm like, they're like no pun intended. They're all popping off. Like when I was when I was grinding and I was doing my Marvel Legends hunts all the times. Like those were the views that I was getting. Yeah. And to see you doing that with hot toys, I guess you could say is like your main. Well, I buy, I buy a little bit of everything. I'm, I'm still, right. I still collect Marvel Legends. I still collect some other, you know, some yeah. other figures. But like lately, the focus has kind of been more on the hot toys. Yes. But what I was going to say is like your format, and we've really never talked YouTube, so sorry. Yeah. But your dude, your format is incredible. Like the way that you you have your videos, and I'm a big fan of long form content. Just not my own long form. <laughs> like your your thirty five to forty minute videos. Like I I liked the format of breaking them into days and how people know. Like okay, on Saturdays we go here. Like yeah, it, it's very like you know what you're getting into, but dude, you're just popping off, man. Well, I I, 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 I bro, coming, like, coming 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 from com, coming from you. And and I've always I've always I've always watched you. So for for you to say that to me that 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 means that means a lot, man. So and 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 I always say this to everybody: um, having respect from your subscribers and your followers and everything that's one thing. But getting respect from your 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 peers is a whole nother is a whole nother thing. So I I, I appreciate I appreciate that, man. Hey. That, that 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 means a lot. So. Well, I appreciate that you appreciate it because I honestly feel like no one gives a shit about me and my opinions lately. I care. I care about you. Don't <laughs> I? Do, I purposely donate every live stream. Hey, every right. live stream. I know, man. But, <laughs> it's, but I did. I did want to commend you on that, man. And I know you and George that you guys have uh, like your joint stuff on the channel or whatever. But like yeah. your 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 hunt videos, man. They they are killing it and. I just bravo, man. Like no, I, 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 look I at it, that. and it makes me hungry to make videos. But then I'm like, well, what the fuck am I going to make a video about? All I so, collect is hot toys. Like I don't have that market to do it anymore. So you, 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 you know, man, I, I've been doing I've been doing YouTube for almost four years. Um, you know, and from where I started to where I'm at to where I'm at now, mm -hmm. you know, I've I've been putting out the hunt videos for like three years straight. Every Tuesday at 10 a.m., you can expect the hunt video to drop. I don't think I've missed putting out a hunt video on a Tuesday in like three years. That's crazy. I used to do my <laughs> my Tuesdays at night, and now I just I throw them up whenever. I need to get back 
to my my schedule stuff because typically i do a hunt over the weekend i'd release yeah. it tuesday night or, or sometimes monday night but then I, for some reason I, I found tuesdays were better but i mean obviously we know what we're doing we know what works and what doesn't work but bro i've i've i thought that i've put out some good videos recently like okay this video is going to do good i went to the toy department like parker's yeah. in it like people are going to like it and then i'm just like okay well this video didn't do good then i open up my goddamn subscription seth six thousand views in one day i'm like this guy's just <laughs> you're, you're like you're, you're like this fucking guy you know what you just need to go you just need to go away already <laughs> Bro, I, just wait until we all get in the damn video together oh my it, god dude on you oh my god dude if we all get together where it's me you mike brian and like everyone else it that video is going to be like mass pandemonium because what I was telling when you said you and Seth were planning a trip up here, I meant to tell you this, um, as long as everything goes well with this, whatever kind of scenario we're going through in the United yeah. States, um, March, like the end of March, it's like March 20th or something is, and I don't know if you watched the videos of mine before it's called the Columbus toy show. It's like in an airplane hangar. There's like yeah, 300, yeah. 300 vendors and it's all toys it's... that comes up in March. And there's quite a, quite a few hot toys. I mean, there's been some crazy, crazy vendors there, but regardless, outside of hot toys, dude, it's just nothing but toys and it's not flea market. It's great stuff. Like there's right. import boost. There's like all NECA stuff, like legends, <sighs> like at the yin yang. It's dude, it's incredible, man. And they put on, I think it's like every March and September. <clears throat> and then they're starting a, a star Wars theme. They're calling it Psycon and G. Yeah. Um, but once it gets closer, if, if you guys still oh. have to go, but I'll keep you in the loop with that. Yeah, keep, yeah, keep me in the loop because I'm sure me and Mike would freaking drive up there in a heartbeat to do that. I'm not, not a plane. I'm not. I'm not a plane. I'm not a plane guy. <laughs> so I don't. I don't do the. I don't do the planes. I mean, I do it if I have to, but yeah. I prefer not to. But yeah, me my, and Mike. Mike loves to drive, so you know. That 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 freaking dude's like life is in the car. That's why we always joke with Mike that he doesn't have a house and he just right. lives in an Airbnb. Yeah, Airbnb. Yeah. And that dude buys a new truck like every six months. I feel like he just bought it. He just bought I a know. new truck last week, man. That's why. Because the the reason why I say that is because when he came up in February, he just bought the SUV that he had then. And yeah, then the navigate. Yeah, 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 the, the navi navigator. Well, he got into an accident in the navig in, right, in the navigator. Right, yeah. So yeah. Oh, that but, happened during one of your streams. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's well, well, that's why he wasn't paying attention. You know. <laughs> yeah, but um, what I was going to say too, along with that, not to sidetrack from Igor, uh, if if you guys do ever come up, I always advise people to make it around one of those shows because not only does it make the trip worth it, but then all the other shops around yeah. it make it much more worth it because oh, we have a toy department. There's a couple shops yeah. in the the Columbus area, which is where the um the the toy show takes place. So. Oh boy, you have a mod in here. Yeah, somebody needs to get rid of that dude. Um, but yeah, let me, so let me just uh, FYI on that. If oh, whoops, I didn't mean to remove him. Crap, Rob. I remove. I removed the wrong guy. Sorry, he, sorry, sorry, Rob. Rob. He won't take that personally. He was literally right in the middle of I gotta, all that. I got. I got to remove this dude. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Whenever, whenever you, uh, you and Geek want to we'll we'll definitely plan it around that for sure because it's a wonderful wonderful what the hell why what the hell is going on with this freaking youtube man homie be careful of it when you go get a, a white paper towel and wipe this there we go finally all right he's gone yeah what the hell was that jesus yeah uh, guys unbelievable uh, yeah but yeah, man. I mean, the, oh, dude, I'm totally down to come up in in March. So, well, yeah. I'll talk to I'll talk to Mike. We'll get it all we'll get it all squared out. Maybe we get Brian Brian to come up come up too, man. Yeah, I mean, we could. I mean, we could make it a, a whole weekend extravaganza on that because the the show is only on, on like a Sunday. Oh, um, okay, which is the the <laughs> the bummer part of it, but it's just one day. Oh boy, here it goes what, again. Jesus Christ! What the hell is up with this dude? Oh my God! This person. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? That's crazy. Let's get home. You're going Who to the bed. Hell is this? Who the hell is this dude? Hey, will you do me a favor? Will you go get my silver water jug for me? And make sure the lid's closed before you slosh it everywhere. He's back in here again. Holy shit. He's got lots of uh, things. Holy. Joe, what's good, brother? 
freaking George, dude. Come on, man. Help me out with this. Oh, George left. He said his kids were going bananas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Again, this here. dude is back. Wow. Well, chat, yeah. how you doing? Un unbelievable. Uh, and back I again. will, I will, uh, you know what, Jared? I'll mod yeah. you right now. Yeah. Jared is a moderator. There you go, buddy. He might lie to you when he sells you hot toys, but he'll sure as hell get rid of chat. That's for sure. Yeah. Did you hide? Are you hiding him from the channel? Yeah. And it's still popping. Oh, my God. Yeah, and he's still coming back. Yo, those are all different accounts. Yeah, it's got to be. Wow. Wow. Yo, that's, someone that's really sick. doesn't that's, like crying. That, that's sick, man. <laughs> that is that is sick. Yeah, but if you don't like him, why are you coming in my channel? Go to his fucking channel. Right. <laughs> True. <laughs> that's very valid. Why are you coming to my channel, bro? Go to his fucking channel and give him a fucking hard time. Jesus. Unbelievable, dude. Big fat. I bet you it's pro I bet you it's probably him too. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you speak into you imagine? Bro. That would be the ultimate like heel turn ever. Yeah, right. That's funny. Oliver, Oliver D is saying it's Cletus. <laughs> Dude, that was some of the funniest shit I've ever seen. The exchange between you know him and whatever, but yeah, bro, that, 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 crazy shit to me. That that, sh that shit's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he did it on those channels as well. It's crazy. Wow. Oh, that means wow. he go he goes, that means you guys are big time when this guy comes in. <laughs> Whatever, man. Wow. Fuck that guy. Fuck him in his fucking ass. <laughs> that was that was something. Yeah. Oh man, but you dude, yeah. Back 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 to back to Igor. Back to yeah. Igor. <clears throat> this man came in and he just he just ruined Igor. You just ruined Igor, man. Yeah, he threw out the vibe with that yeah. one. I'm never gonna dance again. That was nuts. Um, but dude, yeah, this thing is this thing is nuts, dude. Like, oh my god. You know what? You know what's kind of disappointing too. When you pull off the chest plate, I was hoping to see some of the like the mechanics underneath it, and it's not. Oh, is it just the, for what's the point of removing it? For it's just to put the battery. Just to put oh. the battery in the switch. Yeah, that's a bummer. No. Oh. See, there you go. I'm always dropping shit. That's what happens. That's what happens. Oh my God, man! You're so precious. I love you. He is. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna whisper sweet nothings to it. He is awesome, though. And I'm never gonna dance again. Good be feeling, got no reason. People are like, "Why? What the fuck is this guy doing with his hot toy?" People keep <laughs> saying, "Compare him to Hulkbuster." You are correct. Everyone. Here you go. There you go. Compare him to Hulkbuster. He's like Hulkbuster's like bastard child. Yeah. <laughs> he's like he's like the one that nobody wanted. <laughs> he's the runt of the litter. So, question, because oh, okay. someone just said it in the chat, yeah. kind of remind. Um, we kind of got off topic of it earlier. You said you were diving into Star Wars now. Yeah. So or, yeah. Like, so it's like yeah. So it's like so it's like yeah. I'm I, I I'm trying not to not to dive into Star Wars because just and and again this is just this is just me mm -hmm. um i just feel that there's too much of it to keep up with to keep up with and i guess that can almost kind of be said for really almost anything in reality whether it's star wars star trek ninja turtles you know yeah. marvel legends you know all that stuff and i guess just that that that's just how you feel how you feel about it like star wars is such a huge expanded universe yeah you know and it's just so it's just so hard to keep up to keep up with that and i'm not like a major star wars guy mm -hmm. um george is the major star wars guy george knows everything and anything there is to know about star wars i've got nothing you if you have if you're if you're ever on like who wants to be a millionaire and a star wars question comes up george should be your fucking lifeline okay that's 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 how much faith i have in george but yeah. it's like there are just certain characters i i like so I'm not gonna buy them all. I'm just gonna buy the characters I like. Yeah. I liked the, the Darth Maul. I liked the um, I liked the Mandalorian. You know, I liked the Dead Trooper because I liked the way it looked. It looked cool. Oh, I liked awesome. Commander Cody because I liked the way Commander Cody looked. It looked it looks cool. You know, like 
But if you ask me about any of these characters other than the Mandalorian, I don't know, Dick. <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm being I'm being for I'm being for real. Right. Like I I I know Star Wars. I've watched Star Wars. I've watched all the movies. I've watched all the shows. I mean, I know who the characters are and stuff like that. I just I just I'm not I'm not in it the way most most people are. But yeah. I do like but I do like the way some of the hot toys look. Dude, they're you know they're great, man. That, that's kind of and plus the Star Wars hype right now is ridiculous. It's yeah. like it is I'm lost for words at some of the prices on this stuff, man. Cause what that, just for instance, the, the Jedi Luke, Return of Jedi Luke. Oh my sat, god. Sat on Sideshow, sat on Big Bad, went on sale, never sold, never didn't sell out quick. He was great. He the the week before that episode, I'm sure he was just maybe a three hundred dollar figure, maybe two yeah, eight. If if that whatever. Now five, six hundred dollars out of nowhere. Like what? Oh yeah, because he showed up on the ooh. Because he showed up on the Mandalorian. Yeah, and it's just <clears throat> it's ridiculous. But I mean, I'm sure that's it's gonna happen with Marvel. That's why I'm gobbling up Marvel right now, man, is because it's cheap. Everyone wants Star and, Wars. And, and they're good. And, and and I agree, and I I, I I totally agree with you, but I am more of a Marvel a Marvel right. guy. So I'll buy the Marvel regardless of whatever the freaking whatever the freaking price is. That's just oh, that's no. just me. And I, well, I mean, I I had Marvel Hot Toys. I had a, a good amount before I sold, but when I when I restarted everything, I was going to only focus on Star Wars purely because I didn't want to be overwhelmed, and well, I mean, yeah. that didn't last long. But now, once again, after seeing all the uh, the Marvel stuff, it's just like I I like the Marvel stuff because each character is is pretty different even though captain america is in all the movies each suit is is pretty different and each style is pretty different when you yeah. get a, a stormtrooper it's going to be a stormtrooper regardless when you get luke there's only like three versions of luke out there yeah. with cap you got a lot and you're also getting so many different characters out of the mcu versus star wars because star wars is pretty picky they're they typically only do the the main maybe the main cast yeah, with Marvel, I mean, I mean, Agent Coulson, Maria Hill, like they're not. I wouldn't consider them a main cast in the MCU, but they still got figures made. No, they're so they so that they were they were popular enough to get figures made. Yes. Right, but then you look at Star Wars, and it's just like people are asking for for the um, the Anakin, or not. I'm sorry, not Anakin. Obi Wan from Attack of the Clones and yeah. Episode One, like those hot toys. Main character throughout the prequels, never going to make them. Padme, not going to make her. And it's just like there's so many characters they can do for Star Wars that they're not doing because I feel like they're focusing on the figures that they've already made, like all the Lukes, the the Rays and the Fins and and all that stuff. And they're not touching figures that people actually want made. But with Marvel, I feel like you get a lot of the characters. So opinion. that 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 actually boils boils down to one of one of the great unknowns when it comes to um, figures and things like that. It's licensing. Do they have the like? Do they have the licensing rights for those characters? That's is that's why? Is that why they're not being made? Why they're not being made? Yeah. Pro probably, you know, yeah. and, and uh, that I'm and sure. that's the and that's the frustrating thing. You yeah. know, it's like it's like you already you already bought the Star Wars license. Just finish it off and buy whatever else you need to make whatever characters. I mean, you've got you've got a fan base for it, right? You know, people will you know hardcore diehard Star Wars collectors will buy anything. Star Wars related. It's just a given fact. And the same thing can be said about Marvel and DC and all these other all these other genres. That's that's what I've I've told people too cuz a big thing right now with the Star Wars stuff is the the Anakin's down there. They're like, "Oh, they'll, they'll reissue those." I'm like, "No, probably not because one, both of those sat on sideshow forever and not that yeah. sideshow makes them because it is hot toys, but like you said earlier, sideshow is the only distributor in America. So if they're sitting on the sideshow site for months and almost a year after release with discount codes and free shipping. I don't think that's a sign that Hot Toys should re-release it. The yeah. only reason why those figures are expensive right now is because of the hype. It's not that they've been out for six or seven years and no one can really find them. And once again, licensing. You don't, we don't know how it works. We don't know if they buy a license for X amount of years, X amount of figures, X amount of movies. Like, I, I'm sure there's variables that go into it because they did use that Anakin head sculpt for the Clone Wars one that's coming out, but Clone Wars is a different property than Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, so exactly. Could <clears throat> they only get the the likeness rights for the for Hayden in general and not the whole Revenge of the Sith 
outfit, like the character Revenge of the Sith, that they only get it for the Clone Wars. Like, there's so much that goes into it that I don't think people really ever grasp on yeah. how hard it is because you have to get the approval from those people unless Disney owns it, which they probably don't own his anymore or any from the prequels. I, I doubt they own the likeness to anymore. We got a, we got a lot of people in the chat that want a, uh, that want a Jar Jar uh, hot toy, man. <laughs> I know you, based off your last video, you don't like them. I buy them hundred percent. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I look at, Jar, I look at Jar Jar, bro. You ever see a uh, fanboys? Is that like a show or <laughs> it was a movie? It, it was a movie. It was a, it was a movie and had to do about like one of the friends uh, had cancer and one of the dying, one of his dying wishes where they were going to storm, help him storm Lucas ranch. So they get to see like uh, the, the episode one, the Phantom Menace. So yeah. there's a part in there where Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen's in the movie and he has a tattoo uh, on his back or his arm of Jar Jar Binks. And he's like, yo, the new, this is going to be like the newest character in the film, Jar Jar Binks, bro. This dude's going to be the I shit here, here. Yeah. Hear, hear me on it, bro. Jar Jar, you know? And it's like, everybody's laughing because we're like, bro, Jar Jar is like the worst character in like all of star Wars. And like, <laughs> this dude has a huge fucking tattoo on his back of Jar Jar Binks. And it's like, it's freaking hilarious. I, uh, you need to watch that. You need to watch that movie. Dude, dude. That know. movie was great. I didn't know. I've never even heard of that. That's crazy. With it being Star Wars mm-hmm. themed, I've never heard yeah. of it. Yeah, you need to. You need to watch that. You'll get a. You and 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 it's played without known known actors are in it. So mm-hmm. you'll get a. You'll get a kick out of out of watching it. That's it's crazy. I honestly, I would just buy the Jar Jar for pure nostalgia. I don't like. He's not obviously my favorite character. I didn't really like him in the movie. Yeah. But at the same time, like it's Jar Jar. Like I, Ahmed best like. God love him for all the shit that he went through on the verge of suicide multiple times because of how much hate he got. Yeah. And it's just like, I almost like the character because of the actor, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like I respect no, that. So yeah. Because the, I, what, like the, the Tony Stark head sculpt, JC, JC Hong or whatever his, how you pronounce his last name made his yeah. Instagram private because he got so much hate over it. Like, why are people hating on the people that, like create things you know what yeah, i mean because it's like do you do you really think you could do that fuck no yeah. i'm not gonna tell somebody i listen i'm lucky that i'm able to get my get up in the morning and put one one leg in a pant and a pant leg at a time <laughs> you know I, I mean i you know to to me that's that that's a feat that you know that's a thing of achievement you know but it's like <laughs> it's just like yeah man it's like don't hate on people because you know you didn't agree with what they did i mean i get it everybody has an opinion and and they're titled to it right. now did the did that Iron Man's face look a little emaciated, you know, and could have been a little bit fuller. Sure. But I'm not going to go out there and fucking like, you know, go to the guy's like social media pages and just fucking make his life a living hell because I didn't agree with what he did. Yeah, I mean, he's still going to get my money. It's, I don't know, bro. That's the one thing that I just hate about the community in general is the toxicity with things that we really shouldn't even have control over. Yeah. Yeah. One, we don't have control about it. Two, just don't give a shit about it. Like, if you don't like it, that's fine. But why are you attacking that person that you loved the other 999 items before that that he made? But the one that you just absolutely hate, you just have to go. It's just like, yeah. what? They say it's like, bad press it's like, travels quicker than good press. It's like, a, it's, like Doctor, it's like Doctor Strange in Endgame. It's the one. Yep. It's the one yep. time. That was it. And then, ironically, it was Tony. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh uh, man, bro, well, I think I think it's uh, safe to say to end it. It's getting it's getting late, and I'm it's fat. Like and I need thirty people. Yeah, I'm fat, and I need to eat. I need substance. So, Same. um, but uh, Josh, it's a pleasure having you on, man. Uh, you're welcome to come on that. anytime. Please, I will give you a moment. Oh boy! So you can go ahead and plug your channel, plug your social media, plug your Facebook group, whatever uh-huh. you got to do, man. The floor is yours. Well support Seth, support everything that him and George are doing. First of all, thank you guys for having me on. And uh, I'm Josh Pence. Follow me if you want. <laughs> I don't really care. It is what it is. But I do uh, I do things less than Seth. Seth is grade A. I'm like a oh, B. Jesus B plus. Christ. <laughs> no, but for real, Josh Pence, I do dumb shit on YouTube. And uh, I do live streams almost every weekend. That's my floor. <laughs> freaking guy it's funny because like i do the same thing like in like in mike's videos like when me and mike are saying goodbye to each other he's like oh guys go ahead like subscribe you know go follow us yeah. like, don't follow me i'm like i got enough subscribers i'm like i'm good <laughs> yeah. 
I'm just chilling. I just enjoy it. And like, like this dude, seeing this many people yeah. in here for what, two hours almost like consistently. Yeah. That's crazy, man. So guys, um, in the description of the video, if you want, I left the link for Josh's channel. So go, go subscribe, go show some, show him some love, go support him. He's an awesome dude. And this is one of the great things that I love about doing YouTube. And I've said it once and I'll say it at times is connecting with people with similar interests and, you know, some, and, and again, we don't have agendas. We just like to have fun. And that's and and that's what it's about, and and I think that's why you know me and Josh mesh, you know so well, and we just you know we just like to have fun with what with what we do, and yeah. um, you know Josh, thanks for coming on, man, and I appreciate you, you saying all those nice things that you said about me earlier. <laughs> so you know I'll I can go. walk like after the stream's over and we end the live stream, I can go out into the living room and be like, look at my wife and be like, I made it. Josh said I'm cool. I made it. <laughs> Hey, yo, before we left, my kids came around and they were like off camera and they're like, yeah, you're talking with him from Florida. I'm like, yes. They're like, Oh, my God. Because <laughs> they, they know like everything, yeah. you know, but it was just funny how they were like, oh, that because I was like, I'm, I'm live streaming with Seth. And they're like, Seth. I'm like, yeah, I was like the hot toys, like the what's popping everybody. They're like, huh? And then they see they're like, oh, from Florida. I'm like, that's how you recognize them is from Florida. Like, yeah, they're probably looking at you be like, oh, yeah, dad, that jackass. <laughs> So like that guy, it that guy that has nothing better to do. <laughs> but no, man, all love. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Seth, for having me. Yeah. On. It was a blast, dude. I, yeah, you're you're welcome to come on, dude. We'll even get you on. Um, we'll even get you on a geek show so you can actually that. chat with George and everybody. You know, yeah. like we have like a panel and everything like that. So we'll get you on one of those. Um, yes. uh, they want me to sing sing them out like I always do. So hey, I'll guys, be there. Thank you for joining. Also, don't forget, guys, we are on the road to 25,000 subs. We're like less than 300 away right now. We are giving away a Sideshow Gladiator Hulk maquette statue. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out the video that George left on the channel so you guys know how to enter for that giveaway. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to Josh Pence. Go follow him on Instagram, Facebook, all that other good stuff. And uh, as far as me, I can give a fat rat's ass, so we're good. So, all right, guys. So... I will sing you out now. It's so hard to say goodbye to all you in the chat. Yeah. So angelic. It's like a combination of Fergie and Jesus. I love one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We will see you soon. Thank you, Josh, for coming on, guys. Hey, Thank you for stopping by the lounge. I will Hold see up. you next time. And you guys stay classy.